How a Sigma Empath's Vengeance Spells Pain for Narcissists Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever found yourself pushing someone's boundaries a bit too far, only to feel the reverberations of your actions in the aftermath? It's more than just a simple misstep. It can lead to significant consequences, especially when dealing with Sigma Empaths. In today's video, we're diving deep into the powerful ripple effects that occur when a sensitive empath is pushed beyond their limits. We'll uncover the turbulent aftermath that may unfold in your life when you inadvertently cross the line with these empathic individuals. So get ready as we peel back the layers to reveal the uncomfortable truths lurking beneath the surface when we pushed sensitive empaths beyond their breaking point. Stay tuned for an enlightening discussion that underscores the utmost importance of respecting personal boundaries. And if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more insightful discussions, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement fuels our community and keeps the conversation going. Let's jump right in. Number 1. When Sigma Empaths Reach Their Limit When Sigma Empaths feel pushed too far, they could become someone you'd rather not mess with. As a way to protect themselves, they might start speaking up, and their words can be pretty sharp if they feel like their personal space or boundaries are being violated. But they only get like this when they're dealing with a lot of negativity or when someone keeps messing with them. It's their way of standing up to people who won't leave them alone, especially if jealousy is driving their behavior. Sigma empaths would rather speak up when they need to than let their well-being suffer. Number 2. Ignoring Narcissists' Requests Sigma empaths have this amazing ability to remember things, especially when it comes to how they've been treated in the past. If you've crossed the line with them before, they're not likely to forget it anytime soon. So, if you're hoping they'll just forgive and forget, you might be out of luck. They don't waste their time on people who've shown they're not good for them. Here's a tip. If you want them to pay attention to you when you need it, treat them with respect. Sigma empaths believe in having relationships where both people respect each other and lift each other up. Number 3. Narcissists no longer get special treatment. Forcing people to go beyond their limits is a clear violation of their personal space, showing a complete lack of understanding for their feelings. Sigma empaths see this behavior as totally ignoring their well-being and respond with the same level of indifference, no matter what's going on with you. They also make sure they're not taken advantage of by people trying to use their kindness, which could leave them feeling emotionally drained. If you want Sigma empaths to care about you and treat you well, it's important to respect their boundaries and not push them too hard. Building a relationship based on mutual respect and understanding leads to a better connection for both of you. Number 4. Giving up their attention and feelings. Sigma empaths, who used to give so much of themselves, start to get cautious when they feel pushed too far. Once they hit their limit, they stop making excuses and start taking care of themselves first, protecting their time and emotions. They stop pretending everything's okay and focus on taking care of themselves, shutting out anything negative that might ruin their happiness. Just like everyone else, they can get overwhelmed by mixed messages. So, they start expressing their true feelings and won't keep relationships that drain them emotionally. Number 5. They stand firm in their decisions. Just like the laws of physics, every action has a reaction. When Sigma empaths feel pushed to their limits, they don't back down, they hold their ground. They set up clear boundaries, making sure they're within their rights. They're smart about it too, knowing how to use legal means to fight back against harassment or mistreatment. They're not swayed by money or power either. They plan carefully to make sure that anyone who mistreats them faces consequences. In the end, those who underestimate or mistreat Sigma empaths might regret losing their positive influence. Number 6. They can't stand narcissists. If you want to know how a Sigma empath feels about you, just pay attention to how they act around you. If they seem annoyed, even if nothing obvious happened to upset them, it might be because they find your presence uncomfortable. Sigma empaths usually don't show irritation unless they feel personally attacked. It's a sign that they're not happy with how you're treating them. In these situations, they might prefer to keep their distance and find other ways to show they're not happy. 
It's normal to feel annoyed by someone's presence, especially if you both don't like each other, so there's no need to apologize for it. Number 7. Exposing Narcissists' Toxic Traits Sigma empaths have a saying, once bitten, twice shy. If someone keeps crossing their boundaries, they won't hesitate to call out their toxic behavior, even if it means tarnishing their reputation. This serves a double purpose teaching the offender a lesson and warning others about their harmful traits. Sigma empaths understand pain deeply, and they don't want anyone else to suffer from destructive people. By speaking up against toxic behavior, they use their influence to fight against harmful personalities. They value respect, and if it's lacking, they won't hesitate to take a stand. Number 8. Keeping their distance. Sigma empaths are usually warm and welcoming to everyone. But if you notice them suddenly being cold and distant, it's a sign something's off in the relationship. Their standoffish behavior shows they're not interested in getting too close, which could lead to more disagreements. They're protective of their boundaries and demand respect. They make rules for how they interact with people and choose who they want to be around carefully. This guarded approach helps them protect their mental well-being as they work hard to keep their inner peace intact. If you were in their shoes, wouldn't you also stand firm against letting in unwelcome guests? Number 9. Using sarcasm as a defense mechanism. Sigma empaths usually stick to serious conversations, but when someone really pushes their buttons, they might respond with sharp, sarcastic jokes. These jokes might seem harmless at first glance, but if you pay attention, you'll notice a hint of bitterness or a subtle dig hidden beneath the humor. They often make these comments in public embarrassing the person they're aimed at and exposing their manipulative behavior. By using humor like this, Sigma empaths put others in an uncomfortable position, showing everyone the ugly side of their actions. Don't expect them to apologize for their sarcasm. They meant every word of it. Number 10. Running out of patience. Constant attempts to distract or manipulate a Sigma empath can wear down their patience, leading them to snap. Patience is a valuable trait for Sigma empaths because it helps them see beyond the surface and understand things deeply. Patient people are admired for their ability to stay calm and positive, even in difficult situations. But if they face consistent disrespect or mockery, it can chip away at their patience, causing them to respond with sharp comments or dismiss the people causing trouble. In conclusion, Shedding light on individuals with harmful intentions can indeed benefit us collectively. It arms potential victims with the awareness needed to protect themselves from manipulation. However, subjecting individuals to pressure tests of resilience is not productive. Tolerating such behavior only perpetuates disrespect and insensitivity. Kindness and empathy are the true compass points to avoid negative consequences and foster harmonious relationships. As we navigate the complexities of human behavior, let's remember the importance of treating others with dignity. If you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Also, check out the free book and details on one-on-one -on -one consultations in the description below. Your journey to understanding and growth matters, and we're here to support you every step of the way.